a controversy involving the flying of flags in a town in New Jersey. Officials in Boonton voted this week to ban almost all flags from being flown outside town hall. All except the U.S. flag and military flags. But some residents, specifically members of the LGBTQ plus community, aren't happy with this decision. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates live in Boonton with the latest. Tony. Yeah, guys, that's because council back in December approved an ordinance that would allow the pride flag to be flown over town hall for the month of June, which is pride month. In comes a new administration and that new ordinance is wiped off the books and the pride community here in Booton believes it was a move against it. The only reason that we can conclude this is that we're the only ones who submitted an application to run a flag. Not only will the group Booten Pride not be allowed to fly a flag over town hall for Pride Month, they are now no longer allowed to fly one on the pole over Grace Lord Park during their annual Pride Fest. Here, some voices of opposition at a recent town council meeting. The flag has to represent everybody. Reserving the flagpole of the town for this one thing, I think is more than appropriate. Mayor James Lynch said in a statement that the prior ordinance that allowed the pride flag was hastily passed by a narrow margin during the prior administration and that reversing it mitigates the unintended consequences and risk of allowing the town's flagpoles to be public forums that would be open to all flags and even some flags that could be considered undesirable to people. The LGBTQ community and its supporters in town rallying, Vicky chalking out pride flags on sidewalks in front of businesses like Java smugglers. I believe in freedom of showing yourself, uh, whoever you are. Support signs are popping up on lawns like Christine Bailey's, who's lived here for 25 years with her husband. It shows love. I, you know, it's not a sign of hate. And uh, I kind of can't understand what the problem is. Booten Pride says council reversing the ordinance is backlash for strides they've made in expanding acceptance here. I feel like made everyone feel so good that the town was behind them in a way that they hadn't shown before. Mm -hmm. um, and I think some people really hated that. I feel like they're representing their own personal feelings and they're doing it because they want to. Booten Pride says it will put new focus on getting the vote out. It's only been four months and it completely overturned a bipartisan ordinance that they all agreed on at that time. So it's it's huge. Yeah, uh, Booten Pride is not optimistic that the reversal will be reversed, but they says we can expect to see more signs and support of pride uh, coming up uh, all over Booten. And to be fair, some of the people who were at the meeting said that they do support their LGBTQ neighbors. They just didn't think the flag was appropriate to be on town flagpoles. But now we're live.